It's one thing that Donald Trump really hates is the idea of China eating our lunch, right? That's, that's just what he says all the time. China, oh, they're, they're screwing us over so bad. China, they're going to eat our lunch. Uh, we're letting them. We're the stupid country, right? As he says that all the time uh, during the Obama administration and also during this administration, which is his own administration, by the way. Uh, and it's kind of ironic by the uh, it, the, the whole thing, the whole thing against China, uh, because his administration just literally let China eat our lunch. That's awesome. Uh, OK, so by the way, not awesome, uh, but the hypocrisy is there uh, and it's real. All right. So now on Sunday, let me give you some details about this. The New York Times discovered that members of the Trump administration allowed supplemental money from the Paycheck Protection Program. That was part of the CARES Act, right? Uh, and, and so that's the program which is supposed to protect businesses in this country, right? So basically, hey, if you keep jobs in this country where we are, you know, keep people employed, then, well, first we're going to loan you money. And if you keep those jobs, then we're just going to turn it into a grant and you could just have that money to help you survive the coronavirus. Generally, it's a fairly good idea, but it lacks oversight, Okay. And so that is one uh, big problem. I'll, I'll actually go into detail uh, about how the Trump administration has actually stopped that, made sure that there wasn't any uh, oversight about this. Uh, but first, they allowed this money to be given to China-backed businesses in the United States. And the irony over this is that recently Trump had been going off about TikTok, right? Dude, we're going to ban TikTok. Uh, we don't like the TikTokers. Uh, it sounds too much like a clock. Uh, and I don't like, I, I don't know. I don't know if he doesn't like clocks or not. Uh, but okay. Anyway, so now the New York Times uh, did this report based on a study from Horizon Advisory on the publicly available data. Here's what they found. They found that $192 million to $419 million had gone to more than 125 companies that Chinese entities own or invest in. Many of the loans were very sizable. At least 32 Chinese companies received loans worth more than $1 million, with those totaling as much as, much as $180 million. Oops. Hey, what was that about not wanting China to eat our lunch? Like, because we're that's what we're doing. <laughs> I mean, from this report, it's less of a China came in, beat us up, and took our lunch money, uh, and, you know, more of like, we invited China into our house and gave them access to a refrigerator and they cleaned us out. That's, that's, I mean, that's what happened. Uh, so now Horizon Advisory co-founders Emily De La Bruyere and Nathan P uh, Pekarsik wrote this, quote, the extent in nature of PRC, that's uh, People's Republic of China, Owned, invested, and connected entities among the PPP loan recipients indicate that without appropriate policy guardrails, U.S. tax dollars intended for relief, recovery, and growth of the U.S. economy, and small business in particular, risk supporting foreign competitors, namely China. Policy guardrails. You know, I, I can't help but think that maybe one of those guardrails could have been stronger oversight of the PPP program or technically PP program because it stands for paycheck protection program. You know what I'm saying, right? But it sounds weird saying PP program, especially in the context of Donald Trump. But anyway, moving forward, right? So, okay. Now, the thing about that is Democrats called for stronger oversight. Progressives called for stronger oversight. Because when the CARES Act passed, there wasn't a lot of transparency. In fact, Republicans had said, we don't want transparency. Well, then how do you know who's going to get the money? How do you like, yes, the main concern was, but what if Donald Trump funnels it back to himself through his own businesses? That's why we generally want to know. But in this case, transparency would also show that, hey, man, why are we giving the Chinese communist government a lot of money. Like, what? why can't they, since they are essentially an extension of the Chinese state, 
since it's state-owned business, right? Why isn't the Chinese government bailing out their own businesses here in America to try to save jobs here in America, right? Why are we doing it? Yes, I understand the motivation is, well, I mean, we got to protect American jobs, right? And so these jobs are in the country. Uh, these employees, the employers are in the country. And so I guess we got to subsidize them. And so I understand it from that point. But I'm, I'm not really arguing against that. What I'm pointing out really is the hypocrisy. Attacking China uh, and, and, you know, say to the Chinese, they're eating our lunch while you're literally giving them our lunch. Like what? Almost literally, I guess. I'm probably using the word literally wrong, but that's but basically that's what we're doing here. And so that's the problem. <laughs> OK, so now look. Back in June, I'm going to show you how the Trump administration has fought against that transparency. Back in June, Democrats penned a letter asking for oversight of this program because they were concerned about people getting bailed out that shouldn't get bailed out. Businesses that aren't actually small businesses, right? Uh, Trump, in response to these calls from transparency, actually tried to hide recipients even more. So he knew that this was a problem. He knew that there could be a lot of corruption in this program and still, and misuse, and still he's like, no, 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 I, I want the corruption. I don't want to find the corrupt, you know, and expose the corruption. I want to hide the corruption. We're pro-corruption here, uh, in case you didn't notice, in the Trump administration, as long as it helps me. And generally, that's the ethos that Donald Trump really, you know, like runs with, uh, as long as it helps me. And I'll show you that uh, later on. Uh, but first, according to the New York Times, President Trump, this was an earlier article uh, that came out at the time, had scoffed at oversight, suggesting as he signed the stimulus law that he had the ability to decide what information a new inspector general named to oversee a separate corporate bailout fund could share with Congress. Trump also, in effect, ousted the head of a committee of inspectors general responsible for pandemic oversight, known as the Pandemic Response Accountability Committee, through a demotion. And so he used everything that he could, all of his powers that he was able to do to remove oversight from that very thing. It's almost as if Donald Trump himself engineered this very problem in order to have China eat our lunch and then to go and complain about China eating our lunch. But look, let's be honest here. Donald Trump doesn't actually care about that. He doesn't care about China getting millions of dollars in taxpayer funding through the Paycheck Protection Program. It, I mean, he doesn't care about it as long as his family can hide the fact that they also benefited from taxpayer money. Again, going back to the ethos of Donald Trump, if it helps Trump, it help, then it's good. If it doesn't help Trump, it's bad or Obama, bad. Um, look, I, I also believe personally that Trump thinks he can fool people into thinking that this is more evidence of China screwing us over, therefore helping his reelection chances uh, and saying that, hey, if we hand Trump the keys to another four years, right, then finally Donald Trump, he's going to get tough on China, although he already claims that he's gotten tough on China. The other component here, and it's also political, uh, is using racism against Chinese people. All you hear, for example, from Donald Trump, when he talks about the coronavirus is, oh, it's the China virus, it's the China virus. Uh, and like any time you want to talk about, OK, but uh, we have a really disastrous response to the China virus, uh, the coronavirus. Uh, there's a slip there. Um, we've had a really bad response to the coronavirus. What are you going to do about it? Do, do we have a great response? We're doing awesome to, against the China virus. And that's what basically what it is. OK. Uh, and it's classic dog whistle politics. And of course, now he's tying Joe Biden uh, to China and saying that Joe Biden loves the Chinese. In reality, look, the donors, and I'm talking about both Republican and, and, and Democratic donors, they like doing business in China. Big corporations love China. Why? Because it's a place where you can exploit labor. And guess what? Before Donald Trump was president, we were also exploiting that labor uh, from China. That's why jobs were going overseas, corporations, and, and nobody was able to put a stop to them. Uh, and, oh, guess what? Also before Donald Trump was president, he was one of those donors. I mean, Donald Trump's 
or I should say Ivanka's, uh, uh, Trump's clothing line, was made in China. A lot of Donald Trump's hats, at least the knockoff ones, were also made in China. Although, to be fair, uh, the ones that are officially sold by the campaign, those did uh, get manufactured in America. So there was uh, one of those uh, things, at least, that he was honest about because he know he he knew he'd get called out. Uh, and so, nonetheless, the Trumps have had a lot of business in China. Again, going to Ivanka, right? Um, Ivanka Trump gets cheap labor. And so, yes, that's why she makes deals with China. Uh, in fact, Trump himself used his position as president to allow Ivanka to get into negotiations with President Xi. Uh, and of course, he was able to grant her some pretty special deals when it came to her clothing line. Uh, and so that's how she makes millions of dollars. I mean, if that's the idea, if, if that's if that's Trump's idea of getting tough on China, giving them our money uh, and using our power to negotiate special deals for themselves, then, uh, I mean, I really wish he'd get tough on American-owned businesses, you know, so that they also get sent millions of dollars. Just saying. 